Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we're going to take you on a builder tour of this incredible masterpiece behind us with the master himself. Rob, thank you so much for having us today and uh, taking us a little tour. You bet, happy to have you here. This is house number five in the St. George area Parade of Homes. It's the R.L. Wyman All-Inclusive. Come check it out. We're always impressed with your parade homes and I feel like every year, Michonne and I say this to ourselves, that this cannot be outdone. And based on what I've seen so far, and I've seen just a small portion of this house, this is mind blowing again. It's a fun house and we're excited to show people. Every house we do, we try to outdo the house before, which is always fun unless the house before is your own house, then you don't want to out out outdo it. But I think we did this year as well. So I feel that way. You guys are gonna love it. Here we have a galley entryway and you walk in sonic windows and doors did the uh, windows and doors they're a, a local based company here we can do any size window or door and you can see that as you walk in the entryway we did a gridded entryway with these beautiful sliding doors that go out to this party backyard and the great part about this is if you're entertaining you could slide this open open up the entryway and have guests pass right through and they stay out of your personal space and they go right back to the fun. To where the party is. That's happening. exactly That's right, happening. yeah. A lot of vegetation here, just to kind of bring that outside inside and lots of windows and lots of natural light. We're just checking out the light fixtures through the main uh, living areas and it's incredible. Everywhere we look, there's so much detail in this house. Our team from day one, Sean Patton does our architectural work. We sit down, him and I with the clients, we go through their wants and needs and we really try to be creative. And then the design team that worked on this was House West Design and they really tried to get in the client's head. But there's some unique things here in this home and some really special pieces of art and some special details that were very well thought out. A lot of people walk through this home and think it's really pretty, it's something to look at but there's just so much more depth into what our team does. And I think people will, whether they recognize it visually or not, they'll feel it because it's a pretty special house. That's incredible. What do you think was some of the inspiration for it? They love cozy spaces, but big spaces. They love artwork. They have family. This home, the name of it's all inclusive and people immediately think of a resort, right? Um, and this is a resort, but also they are family people. And I feel like when we named this, it was, we all feel so included with them, you know? And so you'll see that translate in the space that everyone's included. This was built for family and friends. This was built to share with people. And I think that you can feel it walking through the home in, in a lot of what you see from the artwork to the house design, to the structure, to all of it. Not only is it plenty of room for everybody, it's just functional room that everybody could use. That's a party too, yeah. So in this space, this is the kitchen, obviously great room, dining room. We had all of the walls custom painted to kind of embody that Mediterranean feel. A Mediterranean home has been done in St. George for a long time, but we wanted to do a modern spin to the Mediterranean home to make it just over the top. The designers did a great job of modernizing that look and feel so it doesn't feel dark or dingy. It's a very bright and very- I was about to say, it looks a lot lighter than any Mediterranean home that I've ever shown totally. in Southern Utah. If you see the dining area here, uh, they even brought in a little bit of that Italian feel with, there's a very muted mural there. Some people don't even notice it's it. The light fixture subtle. covers some of it, but it's very subtle. But I think the design team really nailed the feeling on that. When they told me they wanted to do a mural, I wasn't really excited about it. But after I saw it done, uh, I was thinking something very different, but they did a great job. It's, it's just very pleasing and calming, which most of this home kind of gives you that feeling. I absolutely love how subtle it is. It feels like a morning fog somewhere in a forest, and it almost feels like something that you would picture outside of this home. Totally. So then this wing of the house. Yeah, so let's, let's take a walk here. Here's the kitchen. You can see we have a lot of storage and cabinetry, fridge and freezer but a lot of area on both sides. Big Island, awesome exhaust hood. These are some really beautiful sconces that the owner picked out. And then if you come back here, we have a completely finished pantry. So rather than doing open shelving, it's all cabinetry. It's a really functional pantry with another refrigerator, a microwave, and an ice maker. If you step back here, they have a his and hers space or office. This is obviously her space. 
Hello friends, I hope that you're enjoying this video as much as we enjoyed making it. There's truly only one thing that we enjoy more than making these videos, and that's hearing from you. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking that St. George might be a great place for you, or maybe you're thinking about relocating somewhere else in Southern Utah, or the entire state of Utah for that matter, please reach out to us. We would absolutely love to be of service to you. Our contact information is in the description below this video, as well as a link to reserve a time in our calendar for an obligation-free meeting so we can chat and see if we could be a good fit for each other and if Southern Utah is right for you. Without further ado, let's get back to this video. This was custom made for her that if she wants to take a break or get away, she has her own space that she can come. There's a table here, any sort of office work, a television, just a really cozy space with beautiful views of Pine Mountain. Uh, the design team came up with these drapes that they put in and it's just all very curvy and very soft, you know, just a calming space. Absolutely love the location too because it's so centrally located in the house and you can access it right, right through the pantry. Totally, yeah, just right down the little hallway. I'm a huge fan of all the arches in this in this house. I feel like everything just flows perfectly. Yeah, and Sean Patton, he did these arches differently, if you can tell. They're not just a normal one arc arch. There's actually two different angles, and you may not notice unless you know what you're looking for, but I love them. I'm not a huge fan of arches in a lot of ways, but the way that he drew these, it, it, I think it turned out incredible. You notice we have an arch on the fireplace. There's arches going down to the office. We tried to bring in that arched look that was popular years ago, but in a more modern way. It's very consistent throughout the entire property. And yeah, I absolutely love that they're not as aggressive. They don't just peak. Yeah. And there's even the arches through the fireplace. And it's, it's literally consistent through the entire yeah. design of the house. We did a 14 foot tall multi-slide door here that stacks on the right side because this would be the entrance to the outdoor kitchen. And so in those beautiful fall and spring days, you can open that up all the way and let the outside in. And this one also is a multi-slide to the front here in the dining room. Wow. We did custom wood doors on the main level. Uh, a lot of them are 10 feet tall. In this side, we did eight feet tall and these custom arch doors were made for us to kind of match that archway that we have consistent in the house. And this is where you are now entering the kids' side of the house. So this is guests, kids, their family. This is the party area where the master suite's on the opposite side of the house. So they can go for some peace and quiet, peace and quiet when the grandkids the get a little crazy. Too. Yeah. <laughs> we had a custom game console made here in Hurricane. This has hundreds of different games on it that you can play. You have a billiard table, 98 inch television over there. And then as you walk down uh, from this area, is where the real fun begins. We did a, a hardwood basketball court. They love basketball and they love Green Bay. And so these are Green Bay Packer colors for the pickleball lines and the three point lines. Wow. And this is a suspended NBA basketball floor. This has the rubber bumpers underneath it, just like the NBA. Wow. It's gonna be a really fun space. It's a very safe and forgiving floor. And I think this is where everybody will end up. You also have a multi-slide here to open up to the pool and just make it party central. That's incredible. I feel like every every year, this portion of your homes in the parade just keeps getting more elaborate and more advanced. Just everybody is learning what they want and then just one-upping, you know, making it cooler. And we cooler. make it better. Yeah, totally. There's a gym over here and we don't have any gym equipment in it, just some yoga mats. And this is a gear drive door from Sonic Windows and Doors. And this, they all move at the same exact speed. I love how smooth it is and it appears to be almost frameless, it's so elegant. Really smooth and it actually blocks the sound really well. So if you're working out and you want to be, have that separation between the two rooms, you can shut that. And Trying to get your chakra mid yoga session while somebody is playing basketball. That's right, exactly. <laughs> Our design team has, have done these type of look before, but this is a drywalled beam. We had custom mirrors cut with the arches and then they're backlit. And so you can see the lighting in here. You could, you could turn off the upper lights and just have the glow from the mirrors. That's awesome. Such a beautiful space. Since this is the theme of the kids' area, this is a really fun bathroom. 
you can see the stool that the design team put in there for the little kids to wash their hands. It's really cute. Super elegant. Just, too. it's just such a fun bathroom with a lot of color and detail. So this is kind of fun and people, this will be, this will be chained off during the parade so people won't be able to see this, but this artwork here from the owners, it's a changing artwork. So if you walk this way, you can see that the chrome changes and the pictures change. And we, wow. you know, you've seen those types of pictures before, but it's some really cool artwork. It almost looks like a vintage billboard. This is the first guest area for uh, their kids and grandkids. And uh, this would be one of the master suites as an ensuite bathroom, pretty large, lots of detail. I love all the wood detail. It's super spacious too. Yeah, it's a big room. They have their own laundry here. And then uh, we did some custom handmade oak bunk beds. And so there's a little gaming area here and this is for the grandkids to stay. Some really cool bunk beds. We've got the USB plugins for their gaming oh, systems devices. and their devices. Yeah, their phones by the bunk beds. And then they obviously have their own bathroom and closet in here as well. It's probably the cleanest this space will ever look. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Mind kicking your shoes off? Absolutely. So what we have upstairs is very similar to what's downstairs, but this is for the family number two or sons and grandkids. So it's essentially a, a bi-level guest wing of this. That's exactly what it is. Great views from the patio up here. If you notice the table, there's a lot of fun features in this side that they taken some liberties and made just really cute and fun. Was it about 50-50? How much of the owner's input was in the design of this home? You know, uh, as far as the flow and the floor plan, we worked with them a lot. The owners obviously know how they function as a family and kind of what they want. And uh, we really want to get that right because that's, you can change furnishings, but you can't rebuild wings very right. easily. And so we had a lot of input, a lot of back and forth. You'll see the pool in the backyard and we had a lot of input on what the pool and that space outside was to be and function and to look like. And then we obviously tried to just make it way better. But as far as a lot of the selections, there was some back and forth, but really the design team did a great job of getting those selections together and making sure they were all approved. But House West, I think really nailed it on this one. They, they did a lot. And it's still blowing my mind. We were talking a little bit off camera earlier and Rob and I were talking about how long it takes to put something like this together. And I always think about it, like when Michon and I try to select just a piece of furniture for our house, sometimes yeah. it takes us like a year to decide. Yeah. But this entire house with all of his decor was about 12 yeah. months. Yeah, from starting footings to finish about 12 months. But we started this process about 24 months ago. And that's with house design and with figuring out lots and space and stuff like that. So it just takes time. But with that time, you're able to really go over things and get it right. This room here is, is a granddaughter room. One of my favorite pieces in this house is the lamp. It's the bunny lamp. It's the bunny lamp. And I think it's super cool. <laughs> and then they have their own bathroom and closet in here as well. Some hanging chairs. It's super cozy and just a fun Looks like a perfect, bedroom. perfect little girl room. Totally. And then on this other side, you have another master bedroom. Oh, really great furniture in this really great view as you're up a little bit higher you can you know see pine mountain and and the view but they did some really fun stuff and the energy in this room is awesome i love these concrete yeah night yep. the wallpaper the bed the furry chairs it's one of my favorite rooms and the way this white fixture keeps it nice and dim yeah. here it just relaxes you the second you walk in and it has its own ensuite yep this home just feels, you know, sometimes when you walk through a space this big, you feel like it's almost almost too much. Yeah. Where, but each, each little section of this house feels so cozy. So really, we build big homes in a big scale, big windows, big doors. You know, we're 10 foot doors on most of our main floors on these bigger homes. But the biggest compliment that I get during the parade is people come up to me and say, you know what? I could picture myself living here. We don't lose them in the space. And it doesn't necessarily translate like on your video. 
it may not look like this is a cozy space because the scale is so big and you see you know the people in the room and the room seems so big but the fireplaces are bigger the furniture is bigger so we match the scale of the room that you still get that warm and cozy feeling and that's the biggest compliment to me is that we build big homes but it's a home that people feel comfortable in they don't get lost in the space we really talk a lot about that with our whole team and that's our whole goal it's it's the energy you know it's, you it's feel, the feeling right it's the energy it, it's something that you feel we talk about this all the time you could look at homes and you could look at the magazines interior design pictures but then when you walk into the house it either has it or it doesn't yep all right so now we're going to the right side of the entryway and we saw her space this is his space you can tell it's his space right it's very masculine it's just got this richness to it and i love it these are some pieces of artwork that he picked out that's meaningful to him and his family the cabinetry the built-ins the colors just the richness of the space it's a space that he'll be able to come and work and meet with people and feel very comfortable it's a nice nice contrast in this room i love how dark it is overall mm -hmm. where it, it's kind of calming but at the same time you can see what's going on outside yep and you can see in a lot of the front of this home we took the windows made them big and we brought them all the way to the floor without any baseboard or wall or anything under the windows just to bring that outside in even more that's incredible and all of these custom touches you know when we're talking about the build time for this home that was blowing my mind because nothing is standard in this house nothing no. is easy yeah cool okay so we have a, a really cool half bath here really massive apron on that uh, on that countertop pretty masculine bathroom it almost has like the trough look but it's entirely made out of stone yeah this is the mud area with the entrance to the garage so we have a separate door here that you can walk in kids can can ride their bikes there and walk through that okay so the laundry room is special and i actually really love what the design team did with the laundry room and what the architect uh sean did so as you notice it's a two-story house on the other side of the home we're a single story here which creates a problem for balance and so sean knew that this laundry room had to have a really tall ceiling we're 14 feet tall on the ceiling but we wanted to create some coziness but we wanted a window that was tall tall so we actually did these grid beams we would never done them before but we came up with the plan and a design and I actually really love them. I think it turned out awesome. But you can see we brought the beams down to bring that feeling of the ceiling down. These lights, we did alternating heights to make interesting, but also to bring that height down. Also is like a craft room. So it's a craft room, laundry room with a huge windows and a huge tall ceiling. But I think it just works. So grand. Yeah, it's, really it's one of the coolest laundry rooms I've ever seen, I think. The wallpaper and everything just bring it all together. So this right here is the hallway to the master bedroom. And you can see we did multiple arches. The doors at the very end to the master are custom made arch doors. And there's a gallery of windows on the left hand side. And you can see your view, your vegetation here and the view of your resort all the way down. So master bedroom, lots of windows, lots of view of the pool. We've got this great fireplace here, sitting area, really cozy area. You have his and hers entrances to the master bathroom with his and hers vanities. We did these really cool sonic windows and doors, did this really cool beveled leaded glass. We, we did some beams to bring in that feeling of kind of match around the tub. You have a double door master shower and then the closet they had creative storage solutions build these armchairs on the end and then got some custom upholstery done so instead of just a bench to put your shoes on you have his and hers armchairs built so in useful. So isn't that cool yeah. yeah it's a very neat touch if you walk around the corner there you can see that they also have their own little laundry station here in the master closet but we we don't love putting them right in the closet so we built a little nook so they can kind of have that out nice of the way so you don't away. see it. I think that, that began as a trend, at least in some of the parade homes that we've seen probably three years ago. Yeah. I absolutely love it. 
So this takes us into the backyard. So we all know what a casita is. To some people, it's a bedroom with a microwave and to other people, it's something different. This, I'm not sure what it is, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure nobody will leave. So this is their casita. It's a two bedroom, has its own laundry room, pantry. We have fridge freezer in here. We did some really cool, the design team did a great job, I think on this concept for cabinetry. It's really clean. They're all pushed to open cabinets, a smaller version of that light that you see in the kitchen. So it matches yeah. the, the big kitchen. You've got this big panel of windows here just outside with the patio there and then a door out to the pool area and a beautiful view of the pool from the family room here. You have a laundry room in here. This is the main bath. This is also has a door to the outside and it will share as the pool bath. Super functional. Saves you a bathroom. Here we have another bunk area for the guests and then the master suite back here. Really cool light fixture. So this is basically a, a, a casita slash miniature luxury home. Yeah, exactly. It's really not so miniature. I don't know why I use the word miniature, only by comparison to the main house. <laughs> right, yeah, I think I could, I could probably live here permanently. Very comfortably. Now we can head outside. This view looks familiar from the Parade of Homes magazine cover this year. That was actually my pool. The other house? Next door, yep. Deserving. Yeah, so this is the backyard masterpiece, the crown jewel of the backyard. Cutting edge pools, they always show up and they showed up big this year. For our last year's parade, I thought that pool couldn't be outdone and I think we outdid it by far. Really cool. Looks like your, your own resort. The owner had some really good inspiration and ideas for the backyard. He drew a lot of this out and then with our help, we tried to help him make it go over the top. Adam Shaw with Cutting Edge even put it that much further over the top. You have the highest jumping point there is 15 feet tall. I think we counted 16 waterfalls and we have beach entrance all the way around the north and west side of the pool. This beach entrance material is imported from Italy. That's actually Italian sand and it's not a plaster. It's the only product on the market that as the waves splash up on it, it sinks into it just like sand and goes back into the pool. It's a product that can be out of the water. It's super comfortable and it makes it a really fun way to use your pool because you can just go sit along the beach area all the way around. And the that's pool. what I feel most people want. Nobody really hangs out on the deep end of the pool. Yeah, there's sitting area inside the water all the way around this pool. They did a really cool custom sunken fire pit with some custom cushions that go around it. We have a kitty water slide here with a cool water fountain on it. Then you have a big water slide that you have to climb up the stairs all the way up in the back. You can jump off pretty much anywhere. You get out of the pool and come back here. And this is our lazy river. We have a couple of really big motors and we can make this go so fast you can hardly get out of it. It's like a circular surf. Uh-huh. And you can see the it going now. There's a beach area over there where you can get in and out. And you can see there's waterfalls. There's four right there. There's two right there. There's waterfalls all the way around the lazy river as you float around. This is a calm area here with a sunken soak pool. Over to the right, there's a raised turf area and that's the viewing area because behind the lazy river, we have a custom built pump track for bikes. You can go out there and spend all day on the pump track, riding your bikes and then yeah. floating the lazy river. Yeah, trampoline and then a playground area. Kids and grandkids will never leave. That's right. So if you follow me this way, uh, this was this was something that was created during the process, but the guys got tired of walking all the way around the pool. So while this was in rebar, they cut some holes through it so they could pass in and out. And uh, Adam from Cutting Edge called me and he said, hey, I think you want this permanently. Let's just build a cave out of this so the homeowners don't have to walk all the way around. And that's how our cave was created. So we have a cave system in here that will... Uh, give you access to the other side and you can notice kevin here here is sitting here <laughs> waiting to start his work uh in the lazy river and uh he'll start tomorrow at 10 a.m <laughs> what a guy i know <laughs>
Yeah, no, that's Kevin. That's funny. Just taking a break. There's some petroglyphs, a whole cave system with some old mining lights that are here hanging that will illuminate the cave in the evening. And uh, watch your head as you pass through. Uh, you can come over to this side where we have our soccer field. This is kind of hidden away for the kids to come over and play some soccer on the turf. That's a good sized soccer field too. It's great, isn't it? And you can see there's a dirt path with some compacted material that goes all the way around the house, clear to the front where you can ride on the driveway and drive all the way back. So it's a walking path, biking path that you can go all the way around. So the that track joins pretty much the whole Yeah, path. you have the pump track and then this other little track here. Yeah, this has got to be the most incredible pool that we have seen. Isn't that cool? I'll show you this here. See that? It goes right through the way it would on a beach. Just like sand on the beach. That's where cool. most of the time it's pebble tech or a type of plaster and it rolls up and rolls back down. But this is actually beach so sand. It's a porous It'll, material. It's a porous material better. with drainage. Yeah. That's so cool. So as people jump in, water won't roll up and out. It, it hits it and, and sinks down in. And it just stands out back in the pool. Yep. Their reward is making something over the top and better. And we, I'm a firm believer in collaboration. So we don't ever tell our homeowners what they should do. We ask them what they want to do. And then we build on that. Like I said, from the homeowners on up, we take them all serious. And everybody that kind of is open to have the project move and to grow. And my homeowners this year were definitely open to that. And my team is, we always end up with something that's just better than we all could have imagined. Thank you for sticking around that far into this video. If you're seriously considering moving into this area, maybe you're thinking about building a custom home, we would absolutely love to be a resource to you. We have a great relationship with so many custom home builders in Southern Utah. We have a long list of general contractors that we would recommend. We have an even longer list of general contractors that we would recommend you avoid. If we could be of service to you, please feel free to reach out to us. Our contact information is in the description below this video. And there is a link for Calendarly so you could hop on our schedule for a quick call if that's the route you'd like to go. And as always, please give this video a thumbs up so the algorithm can suggest it to more people. And if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure to smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future videos. Rob, I think you've, you've already answered my final question. I was gonna say this home yet again has completely blown our minds and our expectations. And the only question is how do you top this next year in 2025? Well, well, we're gonna find a way, one way or the other. We're already starting on our next year's parade. We have a really awesome team together for that one. And we're just starting with that selection process. The structure itself, myself and Sean and the homeowners really went back and forth on it. It's gonna be around 20,000 square feet. It's going to have a pool that will be as good or better. It's already really exciting. I'm trying to not talk about it because this house is so special. But one way or another, it'll be different and a little better, and it'll just keep being that way. We already cannot wait to see it. Yep. Thank you so much you for bet. giving Thanks us for the coming. opportunity to tour this home and, and giving us your time. You bet. Thanks, Rob. We truly hey. appreciate you.